Kristen. I sure appreciate it. Um, my name is Mike. I'm a senior product engineer with Sika Corporation uh, in support of our transportation aftermarket business. And today I'm really excited to talk to you about um, a new product for us uh, we released last year, uh, something that we're pretty excited about. And uh, hopefully after learning a little bit more about it, um, we can get you excited about this product too. So um, what we're gonna be talking about today is our Sika Force 315. It's a uh, super fast um, two component polyurethane uh, adhesive for bonding plastic and metal. So just to uh, introduce you to our uh, host today, uh, like I said, my name is Mike. Um, that we've got joining us are uh, Josh and Ron. Uh, Josh is, um, handles our, our uh, marketing function for the transportation aftermarket group, and uh, Ron Combs is a, a long-term uh, uh, sales representative for us, now as a national accounts manager. And of course, the uh, the brains behind the operation, Kristen, handling all the, uh, the, the tech things today. So Mike, your audio just cut out. Mike, can you hear us? Participants, we ask that you guys please bear with us. It looks like Mike Ray is having some technical difficulties, and uh, if we give him just uh, just a minute or so, we'll see if he can get them resolved and uh, restart the presentation here. Apologies for the delay. There you are, Mike. I'm back. Yes, I am going to, because um, I know sometimes it uses more bandwidth. Um, Mike, if for the presentation, maybe try shutting your video off. Um, okay. That should also kind of help with the issue as well. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. All right, okay. so I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm not sure exactly where I cut off, but um, please feel free, as Kristen had mentioned, to submit your questions at any time to our panelists. Um, they'll either answer them right away in the chat function, in the Q&A function, or if you don't get an answer right away, there's, they'll, they'll hold on to it till the very end and we'll do a little Q&A, um, verbal Q&A at the end of the presentation. So definitely feel free to get those questions in at, at any point in time. So just to start out, uh, a little bit about SECA in general, in case anybody is not familiar with um, everything that we're involved in, which is quite a bit. Uh, SECA, we are a global company. Um, almost eight and a half billion in sales last year, um, 25,000 employees worldwide. Um, we've, we're at, we operate in over 100 countries, um, over 200 manufacturing plants, including seven new ones uh, just uh, built just last year. Um, and you can see the other numbers there as well. But you know, we consider ourselves a specialty chemicals company, uh, but really um, we like to think of ourselves as a solutions company. So anytime you may be experiencing a problem or uh, have something that you might want want to do a little bit better, uh, especially in the realms of uh, bonding, sealing, damping, reinforcing, and protecting. Um, we think we're the the go-to solution for uh, any any type of problem that you might be experiencing, or might not even know that you're experiencing. So, Sika, um, our target markets that we operate in, you'll see that most of these are related to uh, construction uh, of uh, building construction. So, uh, concrete, concrete ad admixtures. Um, waterproofing, roofing and flooring, sealing and bonding and refurbishment, those are all related to uh, to building envelope applications. And then uh, down there in the bottom right is our industry group, which is the group that we are a part of. And for us at Seek, it's kind of a catch-all, the industry group. So uh, what do I mean by that? Well, here are the different, um, the different business units that we cover in the industry group. So it's a lot of sealing, bonding, um, reinforcing, reducing noise and vibration, things of that nature. 
Uh, and specifically, we're, in, uh, we're, we're big in uh, lamination, appliance and manufacturing, uh, big in transportation, including the automotive aftermarket, um, renewable energies, uh, facade and fenestration, uh, as well as tool and composites and marine there as well. So that's a little bit of an overview about what we handle in the uh, industry division of, of SECA. Narrowing it down, narrowing our focus down a little bit more. Uh, specifically, we're going to be talking about bonding, and specifically, we're going to be talking about structural bonding. We do have a very wide range of products uh, in our structural bonding lineup, um, you know, ranging from Sika Force, which is what we're going to be talking about today. Those are two component polyurethane products. Um, we've got our Sika Fast products, which are uh, methyl methacrylate, uh, typically two component methyl methacrylate products. And um, we, we've also got our Sika Power range of products, uh, which are typically epoxies and epoxy hybrids, one or two components. So those would be the, 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 the brand names that we've got for our structural bonding products. So as I said, you know, we're, we're going to be talking about our Sika Force product range, and, and in particular, our Sika Force 315. So a little bit of history behind this product and where it came from. Uh, we had been asked by some of our customers in the auto glass uh, replacement business if we sold any products for bonding rear view mirror tabs, uh, tabs and brackets. They said, well, we could probably come up with something uh, for that. And we started looking around um, and we discovered a product in our lineup that uh, that was really good for uh, bonding not only metal for, say, rear-view mirror tabs, but also bonded plastic really well. And um, we started bringing this product out to some of our customers and have, have, had them demo the product. And uh, lo and behold, there was not it was not just rear-view mirror tabs and brackets that, um, that was in need of a good solution. It was a lot of other things as well. So when we talk about autoglass replacement and what an autoglass replacement technician might come across on a daily basis, um, you know, we think of things of like... Um, molding uh, molding brackets and, and moldings themselves and, and side mirrors and um, really any number of um, small components that uh, that might need to be bonded on a daily basis. And what we found was that uh, our customers were using multiple multiple products for all these different applications. And um, we had the idea, well, why can't we just sell one product that, uh, that, that would be uh, usable for all these different applications? So that's what, when we started getting excited about the Sika Force 315 is when we started seeing um, just how many uh, small components needed to be bonded um, in the course of doing business uh, for our autoglass technician customers. So as I mentioned, we 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 launched this product last year, and um, you know, and now we're we're really starting to get excited and starting to starting to push it out there into some other application areas beyond uh, AGR as well. So why are we excited about the product? Well, uh, it, first of all, it's very, very fast setting. So what, it, what you get is about a 50 second working time with the product. Uh, so extremely, extremely fast. Um, bonds very, very well to a wide variety of substrates, um, in particular glass and frit, uh, but also paint, um, metal, uh, plastic. It does really, really, really well on all those different types of substrates. Uh, with minimal surface preparation. So if we're talking about glass or frit, it really just needs to be clean and dry. And if we're talking about paint or metal or plastic, uh, a real light scuff with a Scotch-Brite pad or a, or a medium grit uh, sandpaper, wipe off the dust and you're good to go. Um, and uh, so that's why we're excited about, about the product. But there's another component to this as well. Um, we didn't want to make everybody that wants to use this product go out and buy a special um, a unique applicator gun, um, like most uh, two component, you know, small component uh, bonding adhesives like this would be packaged in a 50 milliliter gun or a 50 milliliter cartridge that requires a special applicator gun. And we also didn't want to make our customers uh, dispense it into a cup or onto a tray and mix it up by hand. Uh, yeah, there's just some inherent problems with, um, with mixing it up by hand. If you don't mix it uh, sufficiently, you may get some uh, issues that may not cure properly, or if you're off ratio, again, not cure properly. Um, so we decided that uh, the, the best option for this product would be to package it in these 25 milliliter syringes. Um, the benefit there, you can attach the static mixer, uh, so you can be very precise with where you're uh, putting the, the product. Um, you know because it's, it's going through the static mixer that it's going to be properly mixed. So we don't have uh, issues with, 
with improper mixing. And uh, because it's a syringe and you can press it by hand, you don't need to buy a specialized gun or a piece of equipment that uh, pot could potentially get lost or broken or um, you know placed in the back of a van never to be seen again. So um, that's why not only are we excited about the product itself, but we're also very excited about the um, about the packaging as well. So we talk about uh, areas of application, as I mentioned a little earlier. You know, this came up uh, through our auto glass replacement business. So we're really looking at uh, rear view mirror tabs, rear view mirror brackets, um, moldings themselves, side mirrors, um, really uh, cowl pins, you know, really anything that might need to get bonded uh, to something else uh, during the course of doing business. But that's not, that's really not where the application areas end for this product. Uh, as I had mentioned, it really does a nice job to plastic, metal, glass, even wood. Um, and it's an excellent alternative to uh, to epoxies, which might be a little bit uh, a little bit too rigid, um, or, or super glue, or, or double sided tape. It, it's really an excellent solution for uh, anywhere where mechanical fastening isn't possible, or maybe it isn't desired because of read through issues. Um, you know, it, it does retain a little bit of flexibility as compared to say an epoxy. So you know, if you need a little bit of elasticity in your bond. Um, you know, this is an excellent solution. Uh, anywhere where contact corrosion is a concern, so if you've got dissimilar metals and you're concerned about galvanic corrosion, um, you know, this would be an excellent option there, or, or really any sort of dissimilar materials. Um, and then especially it's the fast fixture time that really differentiates it from a lot of other products that might be out there. Uh, that 50 second working time. Um, so like I said, 50 seconds to work with the product. Um, you've got handling strength in about five to 10 minutes and then it'll build up to its final strength in about an hour or two. So, um, so that's a little bit about the product itself. At this point in time, I, uh, I do wanna pass it back to Kristen. We've got a, a little short um, video uh, that kind of goes through the steps uh, involved in using the product. And um, Kristen is gonna go ahead and, um, and get you guys set up with that. So I'm gonna pass back to her real quick. Thank you, Mike. And for our attendees, in the right side panel, the multimedia viewer is going to pop up. You just want to hit continue, and then you'll be able to play the video. You do have full control over it, so please note that the audio is controlled by your computer and not by us. Thank you. And Mike, I'm gonna pass it back to you so you can set up your PowerPoint while we watch this. Okay.
All right, make the video finishing up for me now. All right. So if anybody um, had any problems with uh, playing that video or wants to watch it again or show it to their friends and loved ones or whatever the case may be, um, that video is available up on YouTube. Uh, all you have to do is go to YouTube and search for Seeker Force 315 and you can find that same video. Um, so give me a give me a thumbs up if uh, if you would. <laughs> so, um, you know, moving on, um, talk real quick about uh, packaging and availability for this product. Um, and, uh, you know, start, initially it was available uh, in our industrial packaging. Uh, so um, what, what, you, what you get with the industrial packaging is a uh, is one syringe packaged with three static mixers, and that's available through standard distribution channels. And then, um, you know, if one is not quite enough, uh, it is available in a box, uh, and each box contains 10 bags. So um, th those are, like I said, available through standard standard distribution channels. Uh, but we also have uh, this is um, this is relatively new for us uh, this retail uh, blister kit, um, which contains a syringe plus uh, plus two static mixers, uh, and that would be available through uh, standard retail uh, standard retail distribution channel. So um, really, that's about it. So uh, just to to recap uh, what we talked about, uh, the product Seeka Force Three Fifteen, you know, really fits a nice little niche within our product line. Um, and that's really because of uh, the speed of the product, uh, very, very fast reacting, 50 second working time with the product, um, with handling strength in about five to 10 minutes, bonds to a wide variety of substrate materials, with minimal surface preparation, and, uh, and really gives you a good durable bond uh, for a lot, in a lot of different application areas. It's a very strong product, uh, but it does retain a little bit of elasticity um, if something like an epoxy is, is a little bit too rigid for, for what you're looking to do. And really, the application is, um, you know, uh, it's, it's really unique uh, as, as far as we can tell uh, with the syringe style package uh, and the static mixer um, to really give you a precise, exact dispensing of, of a two component product. And just to, you know, finish up with, uh, with uh, on Seeker Corporation, you know, we are uh, a leading supplier of specialty chemical products. Um, you know, in a lot, wide wide variety of industries. Uh, really, we, you know, we, we consider ourselves to be experts in sealing, bonding, damping, reinforcing, and protecting. And, um, you know, any problem that you may have, or like I said, you might not even know you have, uh, we really want to be able to help you optimize your pro, uh, process quality efficiencies. We want to help with product durability. Um, we want to help you be more economical. We want to help you be faster, safer, and better in all in all regards. So. Um, you know, we, it is our goal for every every customer. We want to be a full range adhesive supplier, and not only that, we want to be your partner and, and help you find solutions um, with with what it is that you're doing. Because if you're successful, then we're successful. So, with that I'm going to wrap up the presentation portion, and um, we're going to open it up. If there's any if there's any questions that have come through that uh, the panelists want to pass my way, I'm I'm definitely more than happy to answer. Hey, Mike, we do have some questions here. Um, the first one being, uh, what is the application temperature range for the product? Sure, and um, you know, it, this is fairly important uh, and I appreciate the question. Uh, the application temperature range is from 50 degrees to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And you know, there is a potential for some issues if we go outside of that range, uh, specifically on the, on the higher end. Um, you know, if, as the product gets hot, it really does uh, thin out. And uh, if once it gets too thin, it doesn't really go through the static mixer properly. So what you'll find if you're if you're using it in elevated temperatures up above 90 degrees, is that uh, the product just won't cure properly. And that's because um, it's thinned out a little bit too much, and it's not um, it's not mixing in the static mixer properly. So definitely want to pay close attention to uh, um, you know to to the application temperature range. Okay, looks like another question. Uh, can this product be used on rubber, such as on gaskets or moldings? So rubber's a little tricky. Um, you know, certain rubbers we're gonna bond very, very well to, but uh, certain ones, you know, like uh, P you know, PVC rubber or um, or like uh, EPDM, it's not quite as easy. It's not to say it wouldn't be suitable for your application, but, um, you know, 
it, it, we just we don't really know unless we're testing. So if this is uh, something that you just want to give a try, I would absolutely recommend you give it a try. Make sure the rubber is, is uh, clean and dry and, and give it a try. Uh, if this is something where you are looking uh, to go into a production environment, um, then absolutely get in touch with uh, Sika sales representative and we can bring some some of your substrate material in for testing and make a determination of whether or not it would be suitable for, you know, for, for moving into a production environment. Okay, another question we have, uh, can I order extra static mixers aside from what already comes with the product? Yes, absolutely. So um, in addition to the bags, which have a one, one syringe and, and three static mixers, we also sell extra bags with, uh, with 10 static mixers uh, so that you can have those on hand in case you need them. And it looks like we have uh, maybe three questions total here left. Um, can I use this product without static mixers and get the material oh. straight from the syringe and mix by hand? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, we'd mentioned uh, a little bit earlier that, um, you know, there's some benefits associated with using the static mixer, but it's not required by any stretch. If, you, if you're if you you're out or if you're just more comfortable or used to um, dispensing it uh, onto a, you know, onto a, into a cup and, and mixing it by hand, absolutely, that's fine. Just make sure that um, you're paying attention to keeping the product on ratio and make sure that you're mixing it sufficiently uh, prior to use. But there's absolutely no couldn't use it without the static mixer if that's if that's your uh, preferred method. Um, is any special prep required for glass services? What about temperature of the glass when applied? Yeah, definitely pay close into close attention to the to um, temperature. You know, we don't have um, specifically um, laid out or um, called out on the on the data sheet the substrate temperature. Um, but if your piece of glass has been out in, in the hot sun, um, baking for a while, it's probably going to be a little bit too hot and, uh, and it could cause some issues. Um, you know, since, since it's a two component product, uh, the reaction speed is actually dependent on, uh, is highly dependent on, on temperature. Uh, it'll, it'll react much quicker in high temperatures and it'll react more slowly in low temperatures. So if you were to dispense this product right onto a uh, piece of glass that was 150 degrees Fahrenheit, it would probably react before you had a chance to, to bond your part. So um, make sure it's clean and dry. Try and keep it try and keep it cool. Try and keep the product cool. Um, all these things are going to help you, um, you know, in, in warmer temperature conditions. Uh, where can I find a product data, sh data sheet and a safety data sheet for this product? So those are definitely ava available online uh, at our website, SikaIndustry.com. You can actually go right to SikaIndustry.com slash 315, and that'll take you to all the relevant uh, information for that product. Uh, another question, can I order one cartridge of material as opposed to a full carton? At your distributors, you can definitely purchase just one one syringe. Yes, absolutely. Is uh, the product available in larger packaging other than the 25 ml cartridge? Not at the moment. Um, it's definitely something that we could look at if there was a desire for larger, uh, larger packaging size. That's absolutely something that we could explore. Um, you know. Like I said, this is this came up through our uh, AGR business, and we wanted to put the most convenient solution into those guys' hands. And um, you know, but if there's uh, other applications or other reasons to put it into the larger packaging size, we can absolutely explore that. It's looking here, I, I don't see any further questions. Um... I suppose if anyone has any, they, they can enter the uh, last minute here. We'll try to answer it. Okay. Well, Looks like. Then if there's nothing else, I'll I'll start the wrap up here. Um, I, I think as Kristen had mentioned, uh, I, I believe at the very beginning, uh, there is a, a little survey after we finish up here. I would appreciate uh, if you've got 30 seconds to just fill out a quick survey. Um, specifically, if you're you know interested in the product, that way we can get a sales rep in, in touch with you. Uh, or if you'd rather do so yourself, please, you know, go to seekindustry.com. Um, there's a function there to find your your local sales rep. Um, or if you uh, want to shoot an email, uh, tsmh at us.seeka.com, right there on the on the slide. 
Um, great, great resource for uh, any any qu technical questions that you may have. Yep. Thank you everyone for tuning in and uh, checking out today's webinar. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. And uh, special thanks to Mike Ray for leading the webinar and sharing your expertise on Seca Force 315. Um, as Mike said, just do please fill out that post webinar survey. We'd really appreciate it. So thank you all um, and have a great day.